Here we are once again. No, okay, I won't do that. If you guys have seen my other videos, you'll know that I love a little bit of singing and dancing and I love talking to people about giving and learning about that whole arena. But one thing that you don't know is that I did once upon a time try my hand at painting. This was the result. That's why you've never seen it and that's why I'm not doing it again. However, a lot of my friends are fantastic artists and I've been lucky enough to pick up a bunch of work over the years that I've hung here in my hut and I wanted to show you two or three of the pieces, especially the most recent piece that I got, uh, and I want to talk you through them and tell you why they mean a lot to me, and uh, who the guys are and where you can find them if you want to see their work. So, let's go. Okay, so first up, this is my oldest and biggest piece. Uh, it's a sunrise that my mate Mike Moore painted. We've traveled the world together, and on our very first trip, we slept on a beach, and slept on a pile of deck chairs 20 high, and when we woke up, the water was coming past our feet. We swam out to that mound and we climbed that mountain and we, we saw nudists having sex on the beach here. It was a great holiday, all summed up in one painting. He took five photos across the bay and then came home and then painted this. And when I saw it, I was like, I need to get my hands on that. And so a few years later, I saved up some money and bought it off him. This was a piece done by my friend Johan Anderson. Uh, he did it at one of the very first live Givy events where Josh Record and James Craze were playing and he painted this live in the middle of the show and uh, he's done some pretty awesome pieces that have got a lot of attention so I thought I'd hang on to it for a while until we can auction it off and raise loads of money and enjoy it whilst I can. <laughs> right, this is a piece... Oh. This is a smaller piece that I got from my friend Jenny Greenland last year. Uh, she used to live here in the house and she's painted this in London on like a rainy day. And this is actually a place called Chandos Place where the Givy office used to be. Um, so it's somewhere I've walked up and down on a daily basis getting sandwiches. So it's just something that feels really real to my actual life. And I love it. This is the last painting I wanted to show you. It's my most recent one and my mate Vincent Camp painted it for me a couple of months ago. See on Instagram I saw he had painted Albert Einstein and I said shotgun I need that painting and he said sorry dude you can't have it it's on the back of my door. But he then said to me who is your biggest inspiration I'll paint them for you. And normally when someone says that it's over a dinner table so you can sort of say whatever you want that sounds good at the time and then it'll be lost in the ether but when you've got to hang that painting on your wall you really got to think about it properly. So I thought about it all day really and I thought about people like Martin Luther King and Mother Teresa and William Wilberforce and all these inspirational characters from history. And then I thought about Jesus. And I thought, when you think about like the cathedral Jesus in the white robes all glowing, that's not who I want hanging on my wall. But there's this one scene where Jesus goes into a temple and gets really flipping angry and turns these tables over and whips these guys out who were trying to make money in the temple by exchanging currencies. And that is the scene I couldn't get out of my head. And that is the thing that inspires me most, that I most want to be like. So I sent it over to Vince in a te text message and he, he came back to me and said, do you mind if I do my interpretation? So this is his rocking version of Jesus in like a casino scene, like a modern day scene. I've grown up in a, like a Christian community where I've learned all about Jesus and God since I was young. And um, I guess I'm now on a bit more of my own journey, like exploring what is this great unknown? What, what is real to me and trying to find my most authentic expression of my faith, of that stuff that we don't understand. If all the things we could know in life is this much, I reckon the known known, what we know we know is only this much. And then there's like the stuff that we know we don't know, and that's like this much. And then there's the stuff that we don't know that we don't know, which could be infinite, but let's call it this much. And the stuff we know, I think is only a small part of what there is to be known. So I'm excited by the rest of it, which is what I call the great unknown, which I could also call God, or I could call love. And that for me is what's most exciting. But one thing I do know for sure is that this story of Jesus in the temple is the most exciting role model that I've ever come across that I want to try to live my life like. It's too easy just to be nice. And I've learned a lot about compassion and about building empathy with people and trying to create that in my own life but what's more difficult for me is to try to access some of these feelings of 
righteous anger, to get angry when people with resources in control of resources for other people aren't doing it well, aren't looking out for the, the greater good, but doing it for their own sake. So I find it super inspiring to come in here, see the beauty of Mike's painting, see the rainy days in London of Jenny's painting, see the mess that's created in real life, in real time with Johans, and then to look at this now and try to see, it's a bit harder to look at, you know, it's a bit tough as a painting, but to see what righteous anger looks like. And actually, I feel like for me to mature in my job and as a person, I need to find the balance between the beauty, the toughness of every day, the mess that gets caused, and actually being able to say, no, that's not right. We're not gonna accept that. And I don't even mind if it looks a bit chaotic or a bit crazy when we take action against that. I don't wanna be apathetic. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed seeing my paintings. I hope it tells you a little bit about what I think is important. Uh, please link below um, stuff you find inspirational, content or artists or music or anything. I'd love to see it and I'll comment back. And I'll link below these guys' work that's online so you can see all their other stuff and maybe you'll even buy stuff from them because they are awesome people and awesome artists. I've got some more giving interviews coming up, one with a neuroscientist that is super awesome. I'm not saying super awesome. I've got some more giving interviews coming up, one with a neuroscientist from Stanford, which I so enjoyed and I hope you like as well, and maybe some dancing videos on the way. Anyway, hopefully I'll see more of you soon, and take care and love your mum.